We have prepared a very long report on the activities of the North American section of the World Jewish Congress, including a report on the activities in the United States, in Canada, and uh, by the Comité Representativo of Mexico. But because I'm very disciplined, Eduardo, I am, of course, not going to read that report. That report is available with Betty Ehrenberg, with whom we had the executive director of the North American section, with whom we had prepared it. And I will just touch on a few subjects that I think are important for our discussions here during this session of the World Jewish Congress. First of all, about our strategy in the United States. Uh, we believe that it is very important in these critical moments to present a very united and a very strong message to the administration, to the Obama administration, to Congress, and to the outside world. And because of that, we have made the decision to work very closely with the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations. This is something that was not done in the past, and we are doing it very much now. It has come to a point where the two major task forces of the President's Conference are headed at this moment by two members of the executive of the World Jewish Congress. The task force on, uh, on, um, on the United Nations on, on um, the, the unilateral declaration on Durban, on the Human Rights Council, etc., is co-chaired by myself and by the representative of ADL. And the whole public relations uh, campaign of the task for of the President's Conference is chaired by the acting chairman of the American section, Rabbi Joel Myers. So this makes us be in continuous daily contact with that um, umbrella organization of Jewish life in the United States. When it comes to the unilateral declaration, there is going to be a, a, an important session here tomorrow, so I will not go into details. I just must tell you that we are in many, many meetings with ambassadors at the United Nations because, of course, the American section, we are located in New York, right, very close to headquarters of the United Nations, and we are in very close contact also with members of the Secretariat in order to know what is going to happen within the United Nations structure for the next hundred years in the months of July, August, and September, where so many of the resolutions are being prepared on the declaration, on Durban 3, on the flotillas, and the uh, flotillas of the past, flotillas uh, of the future. So this kind of work that we do is extremely important for us. Um, the president of the World Jewish Congress hosted, as was reported uh, this morning, a very, very important meeting with the heads of Jewish organizations and the ambassador of France to the United Nations, who is playing a, a central role with the European members uh, at the United Nations, as you very well know. We also, when, when we are talking about um, Durban 3, we are very, very satisfied with the fact that the United States has decided not to participate. And this is a great victory for us because the Obama administration's policy is to use the United Nations and the Human Rights Council very much for their for achieving their own objectives. And the fact that they have made it so clear that they are not going to participate is a very, very important step in our, in our uh, direction. Canada, of course, had said that they would not participate. They did say that already from the beginning. And we really congratulate the Canadian Jewish community for the kind of relationship that they have developed with